Hello. Hey, Chris, how are you? I'm doing all right. How about yourself? Pretty good. Pretty good. Good. This day and age, that's all you can ask for. Sorry? I said in this day and age, that's all you can ask for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Chip. Hi, how's it going? Good. Hi, Chris. Hello. Joining us from uh, anywhere exotic, Chad, or back at Dexter? Depends on the definition of exotic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Up to you. Hello. We're on the way back to Dexter. We're in Chattanooga right now. Hotel oh, nice. in Chattanooga. <laughs> but is it pretty? Um, we're coming home to the snow, as I understand it. Yeah. So I hear. We'll see if it happens. But right. Yeah. yeah nothing yet. Weather Weather.com on my phone. Hey everyone, I can't get my video to cooperate, but Weather.com was showing me just rain. So. But then like the Mike Torregrasa, whoever the meteorologist writes for MLive, I think he's still showing it in our forecast. Hmm. But we'll see. I think I'll have to just cut out, cut down on my tulips and put them in a vase and enjoy them inside, which is fine. There you go. <laughs> I think we might have to put out some kind of covering over the over the vegetables or some of the early starts. Uh yeah. Well, it was hard not to get super excited really early and want to plant stuff. I mean, even this weekend, I was going to throw it on some wildflower seeds, and I thought, oh, I'll just wait till next weekend. <laughs> Maybe they would have been fine. I'm not sure. But... Yeah, AccuWeather is snow on Wednesday, Tuesday night, Wednesday. Yeah, I think they're getting it in Nebraska now. We have some friends and family there. Hmm. I don't know how bad. Usually, you know, and then my parents are in Wisconsin, so I have some sort of a warning. <laughs> I know Phil is not going to be able to join us, but Catherine should be able to. Yeah, it wasn't long, probably just a couple months before COVID uh happened that my son threw a paintbrush at my macbook screen and while we were doing a facetime then it's you know shattered it like kind of interiorly and i thought oh it's not a big deal i hardly ever use my can you know if we need facetime we can just use the ipad which is kid proof anyway it's in a case and then it was shortly after that everything is going to these video meetings and i'm like uh. so i had to buy an external camera that just is kind of a little finicky sure in looking to buy one for the office i was just blown away at the mass overwhelming variety of cameras there are out there oh so many and right i mean many it's like anything in electronics too it's like and what even brand is this and do you can you believe the reviews and i, mean, I guess at some point you just have to decide how much do you want to spend and are you you know like okay i, I want to spend 30 dollars, or do you go with like well here's this no name brand it's logitech or you know something you recognize so this is some sort of off brand and maybe it's just hit its lifespan ah. <laughs> i'm not sure Well, I'm going to check if Catherine's gotten in touch with me via email. I was figuring this was going to be short, right? But do we need, how many people do we need for a quorum? Three and, uh, oh, and Catherine's talking, yeah. just joined us. So we are good to go. Okay. Hi, Catherine. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Doing all right. Good, good. All right. Well, it's 7.01. Um, uh, Phil's not going to be able to join us tonight. Uh, so, it, Chris, do you mind being our de facto chair again? Um, I don't mind, but I have to go grab my uh, my cord for my laptop. It's about to die. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I'll, I'll call your name last then. On the okay, first. perfect. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go run right now. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Oh, I should have asked him to call the meeting to order before he took off. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
well, I guess we'll just have to be out of order until then. Right. <laughs> um, so Catherine and, oh, and, and Jamie and Chet, I think um, since we're all are joined after the bylaw update, the board decided to meet um, the meeting after a public hearing just to approve the minutes so that they're approved in a timely fashion after a case. And so there's not a long span of time um, between hearing the case and approval of the minutes, um, which is the uh, approval of the minutes and the way we operate is what triggers an appeal. So we wanna be as prompt as possible for applicants if we want to pursue that route. Yeah, that makes sense. So Chris, we're ready to call the meeting to order. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> yeah, let's That's call the meeting to order. Okay. I have 7.03 p.m. And I'll go ahead and call the roll. Uh, Hill? Um, here, uh, responding remotely from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Oh, my. <laughs> Becker? Here. And where are you joining from? Dexter, from my house on Alpine Street. Okay. Dexter, Michigan. Uh, Griffin? Yep, present remotely from the city of Dexter, Michigan. Okay, and Walker. Uh, present here from uh, Dexter, Michigan as well. All right, and Phil will be absent tonight. So this is everyone. Okay. Um, the next item is approval of the minutes from the February 16th meeting. I'll motion to approve those minutes. Seconded. All right, I'll go ahead and call the roll. Uh, Wallacher? Aye. Becker? Aye. Griffin? Aye. Hill? Aye. Thank you very much. Um, so the next item is the approval of the agenda. Um, just... I'll motion to approve the agenda. Okay. Second. I'll second. Okay. Becker. Aye. Wallacher. Aye. Hill. Aye. Griffin. Aye. All right. Well, thank you very much. Um, so moving right along, uh, the next item is the staff report. Um, Michelle's report is in your packet. And just to give some, some quick updates on site plan projects, you may know the scaffolding at 8099 and 8093 Main, AR Brower is going to be, uh, is renovating the space for two first floor um, retail office spaces and four second floor apartments. They're trying to uh, restore some of the uh, facade and um, renovate it in a way that's compatible with some of the older building materials. Um, there was recently a pre-application meeting for 8180 Main. Um, the pro former proposed kayak launch uh, site. Um, the owners partnered with uh, uh, Grand Rapids Brewing Company. They're interested in starting a restaurant. Um, no brewing on site. Um, but it'll be a Grand Rapids Brewing restaurant and hopefully connecting to the Border to Border Trail. Um, they haven't submitted site plan, uh, site plan application yet, but I believe are reaching out to Eagle for the to review what permits or approvals might be necessary for a new river crossing. Um, as most of you may know, the Planning Commission is considering a uh, text amendment to allow self-storage uh, facilities in the light industrial districts and uh, an applicant has submitted a site plan for self-storage facility at seven, uh, 7390, oh no, excuse me, um, at the Adair property on 2nd Street. Um, it's currently under site plan review. Um, and those are the, uh, those are some of the uh, larger site plan projects going on right now. Um, Chris or Jamie, uh, would you like to share any updates from the zoning ordinance uh, subcommittee um, for Catherine? Uh, yeah, I guess I would say, I mean, we're talking about this form-based code. We'll be having our second meeting. I'm not 
I guess usually the first Monday of the month. Um, I've fallen a bit behind on the material, so I have to freshen up for that. But yeah, my, you know, the gist being that we're switching from a use base to a form based, so maybe less concerned with how the property is used and more concerned with what it looks like, how it interacts with the people walking down the street kind of a thing. Um, yeah, I was going to just bring that up, but, it, but I thought I'm like, oh, most of the people in this group, it seems like are also part of that subcommittee. Um, but I was, I was going to ask attend them. the meeting. What's that? I think, yeah, were you at the meeting last I was, time? I was at the meeting. Oh, right, right. The public, so, yeah. Right, right. Um, I was going to ask a question just how, uh, to Mike, or I guess anybody who's thought about this, generally speaking, how might that change impact the number of variance requests we might see as it pertains to either use or dimensional? Like, is there a known association between making that type of change to the zoning ordinance and the activity of the ZBA? Is there anything that you would hypothesize or is it they're just separate things? I think in an ideal world, <laughs> it would reduce the need for, a variance, for variances because hopefully the new standards would be more consistent with both um, <clears throat> existing structures and it, it could be a way to lessen the number of non-conforming structures. Um, but that's a very uh, difficult thing to do. Um, in an ideal world, it would be great to know every single property with a non-conforming structure and how could we tweak, say, the setback standards to make those structures conforming. Um, that would be, I mean, in an ideal world, that, that's what could happen, but it, it'd be difficult to get it you know, just right. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, uh, I guess, well, one, way to, one way to answer the question. Mm -hmm. I don't believe we do uh, use variances either. Isn't that right, Mike? That's correct. Council has, gotcha. um, council can review use-based variances, but they have not done so in my time here. Gotcha. So in an ideal world, I mean, I never, I think we maybe had this computer game when I was younger, SimCity or SimWorld, or, and I kind of envision that city planning people maybe loved this game, but I don't know. <laughs> um, I just, like, if you were to start, if you were just to start, you know, vacant land from scratch and, you know, plat a city out and do this use-based versus form-based would there be a primary difference? Are you saying that maybe the form based would have more guidance on how things would look so they would be more consistent? Or is there even, is there anything to be said to that? The way, the way I understand form based code, I think the application serves to um, encourage and preserve a, a specific kind of development pattern. Um, like the old village, for example, you pick, um, more broad elements of form and design that make the old village the old village, be it setbacks. No, nothing necessarily as stringent as historic architectural standards, but mm -hmm. building orientation, the, the width of the, the right of way and sidewalk and tree lawn, um, certain uh, just a percentage of transparent building front facing the street, for example. Um, mm -hmm and incorporate that into, into the code so that future development also includes those characteristics. Mm -hmm. um, I guess you could do it, uh, have a form-based code from scratch on a completely undeveloped, in a completely undeveloped area, but um, like I said, the way I think about it and understand it, there, it's, it's a way to make future development incorporate better into an existing built environment. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, Chris or Chet, there uh, anything to add? No, that sounds about right. Yeah, I, I agree pretty much how I view it. Thanks. Sure. So it'll be a lot to consider and, and yeah, potentially um, uh, we'll have some new, new content and material for the ZBA to learn um, depending on what the final code looks like. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Super interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and oh, just to clarify, those um, the public hearings that the Planning Commission had, 
there was an error with the published Zoom link, so they're they're reholding those public hearings. Correct regarding the text amendment and the actual use and. That's correct. Okay. Yes. Yeah, really nothing more to elaborate on there. I think the, the meetings were unintentionally set up with the password enabled. And so the, and, and in order to, to disable the password, Zoom generated a new link or something mm. along those lines. So mm. I think all told ever since we've been on Zoom, things have gone fairly smoothly. So fortunately just one hiccup so far is not too bad. Yeah, I'm sure it's a lot to keep track of. All right, well, that's all That's all I have this evening, unless anyone else uh, has any questions or anything they'd like to add. Nothing for me. No, and I don't have anything either. No, safe travels Ooh. back to Chet. Oh yeah, safe travels, Chet. Oh. <laughs> I'm happy to. Careful out there. Yeah. Thank you, I'll be home tomorrow. And I'm counting on all of you to keep that snow away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to have motion to adjourn if that's what needs to happen next. That is. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Thanks again, everybody. Thank you. Have a good one. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.